The advancement in the field of quantum computing is getting faster. Today, we will present the Neutral Atom Quantum Computing Initiative. Companies like Atom Computing are the leaders and harbingers of this immensely powerful tool. Their testbed is qubit technology based on the neutral atoms. This technology allows atoms as nature's built-in qubits which can hold quantum states for much longer. In fact, they can maintain their quantum state for nearly a minute, compared to IBM's Eagle Quantum Processor, which holds coherence for just 400 microseconds. This actually corresponds to a two orders of magnitude difference between these two technologies. This stability is key to fault tolerance, allowing for error correction which is an essential property for large-scale quantum computing. But why does atom computing use neutral ytterbium atoms? The answer does not consist of a single factor. Besides adaptivity to the scaling and being easy to control through light, it's mostly to reduce interference among themselves and with the ambient. In general, candidates for the quantum computer infrastructures use electron spin to manipulate quantum states. However, electrons are ultra-sensitive to their environment. Instead, atom computing uses an alternative avenue, the nucleus's spin in ytterbium. This case is much less reactive to external factors, keeping the qubits intact. But how does this stack up against other infrastructures of quantum computer attempts? Well, it's hard to compare directly since qubits come in somewhat various forms. But atom computing is aiming high like most other initiatives. They plan to increase their qubit count by a factor of 10 every couple of years, which indicates a scaling plan akin to Moore's law. In reality, some machines are already being built to have over a thousand atomic qubits. And the technical staff of the company see no obstacle in the scaling of their qubit technology. In a year or so, Atom Computing will have their machine available for cloud computing applications, similar to IBM's quantum services. It may not be able to operate on all qubits at once just yet, but the time for fully error-corrected quantum computing is seemingly getting closer. Science authorities in this field think that a highly integrated and scaled quantum computer is where the real future lies. For example, with machines capable of handling 20 million qubits will be the threshold to solve a quantum problem based on Shor's algorithm. Shor's algorithm is efficient for factoring large integers and crucial for breaking classical encryption methods. While there's still much to learn about atom computing systems, it is certain that quantum computing is continuing to evolve thanks to the public and private fundings in many developed countries. The race to the error-corrected or fault-tolerant computing is still on, and neutral atom qubits might just be the key to getting there. Stay tuned for more breakthroughs in the world of quantum computers.